<clears throat> well, we are going to start with part one of uh, random variables. First of all, we are going to talk about random numbers. These are a basic feature in discrete system simulation and each random number that we are going to call RE is an independent sample of a uniform continuous distribution. A uniform uh, continuous distribution is one that uh, in all of its intervals has the same amount of uh, numbers or the same frequency for uh, each interval uh, talking about an histogram. In order to have uh, random numbers, we need random generators. The first that we are going to see is the quadratic middle element. For this uh, procedure, for this uh, method, we need a seed. This is a, a number of four or more digits that we are going to use as a seed. We choose any number we want. In this case, I choose the uh, 5,497 number. This uh, method is real simple. The only thing we are going to do is square this number and then obtain the four digits in the middle of the new quantity. We choose four digits because of the seed had four digits in the beginning. If the seed uh, we choose uh, is uh, five digits or six digits or more, we are going to choose that same amount of uh, uh, data in the uh, quantity resulting the squaring of the seed. So, returning to our example, 5,497 squared, it's this quantity, uh, 3 million, uh, uh, 217 uh, and 9 uh, <laughs> and we choose uh, the four digits that are in the middle and that's our x1 variable but our first random number it's uh, uh, this numeric representation that we are uh, obtaining by dividing this number by 10,000, that it's the equivalent of having four digits. So we have uh, this number, that it's our first random number. We square the seed, then we obtain the four digits in the middle and divide it by 10,000 because it was four digits. This X1 is uh, our next seed. We square the new seed, get this uh, 4 million number. We took, we take the four digits in the middle, 7,089, our new seed. We divide this uh, new seed by 10,000 and we obtain 0 0.7089, that is our new or our second random number. We square the second, third seed, in this case, 7,089, we square it. We obtain this uh, 50 million number. We have this seed. If we divide this seed by 10,000, then we will we'll obtain 0. Uh, 0.2539. That will be our third random number. And we can keep uh, repeating this procedure until we have as many numbers as uh, we want. So this was the quadratic middle element. There are other random number generators. Uh, the next one is called linear congruential method. And it basically uh, says that the next x is in relation with the actual x. So x i plus 1 is uh, calculated according 
to this formula. This is a residue formula. We are going to divide the first quantity between uh, parentheses by a, a module, but we are going to obtain the residue of that division operation. In this uh, formula, x is the seed, a number that we are going to choose, any number. A is uh, the constant multiplicator, that uh, is another number that we can choose, uh, any, any, any number we want. Also is uh, C, the increment, and M is the module. The module is the quantity that we're going to be dividing by this uh, first uh, calculation. The random number is obtained or is calculated by dividing x, the seed that we just have obtained, by m, the module. And this next x or xi plus 1 is the new residue. For example, if we have uh, a seed of 27, a uh, multiplicator of 17, an increment of 43, and a module of uh, 100, we apply the formula, we obtain a new residue of 2 divided by 100, that is the module that I choose, is 0.02, our first random number. We take the new seed, that is 2, we uh, multiply it times uh, 17, we add 43, that is the increment, we divide it by 100 and obtain the residue, and the residue is 77. 77 divided by 100 is the second random number, and it is also the next seed. We can keep repeating this uh, procedure until we have as many numbers as we want. These two methods were an example of how uh, to generate uh, random numbers, or as we are going to call it, uh, pseudo-random numbers. We call these numbers uh, pseudo-random because we're not uh, sure that they are really random. They first have to pass four tests that we are seeing in this slide, and those tests are an average test, a variance test, uniformity test, and independence test. In order to know for sure that a set uh, or an amount of data is a uh, random, we have to apply these four tests, and if the random data passes the four tests, all of the four, four tests, then we can assure that they are random. The first test is an average test. First, uh, we establish an hypothesis that the, uh, the average of a, a set of uh, pseudo-random numbers, or a set of random numbers is 0.5 because it's a uniform distribution from 0 to 1 that it will be it will be having 0.5 right in the middle of that interval so this this is why the hypothesis is that uh, the the average is 0.5 we find the arithmetic average of the of the data set then we have uh, we find the upper and lower acceptance level according to these formulas where we need to uh, uh, use uh, the normal distribution. And if the average that we have calculated is between those uh, acceptance levels, we can uh, say for sure that the average is 0.5 and that the random data set is, uh, has a, an average of 0.5. Next test 
that the random data set need, needs to pass is the variance test. And it's uh, real similar to the average test. First, we establish an hypothesis that in this case is that the variance is 1 twelfth and we find the variance of the data set using this formula or using Excel or, or any software that you have. We find again an upper and lower acceptance level according to this formula and we are using now uh, the, the G quadrat, the, the square G distribution. And if the variance that we have calculated is between these acceptance levels, then we can say that the, uh, the amount of data have passed the test and that they have a variance of 1 12th. The last uh, test that we are going to see is the Kolmogorov Smirnov uniformity test. For this, we need to sort numbers from the smallest to the biggest. The, 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 the amount of numbers, if we have 10 or 12 or uh, 25 or 50 numbers, we need to sort them uh, from the smallest to the biggest. And then we are going to find uh, these, uh, these values according to these formulas that you are going to that you are seeing in in the in this slide we are uh, calculating or uh, obtaining d plus d minus and d first we need to calculate d plus and d minus and then uh, obtain the maximum value between those two and this is going to be d then using the, the kolmogorov smirnov critic value of table for uh, uh, an error alpha and uh, uh, an amount of data of n, we find the kolmogorov smirnov value for uh, this data and we compare this value to the d that we just have found it and if the d that we just have found it is greater than the d in tables, then the data set is not uniform. If I repeat, if the d that we have just found it, uh, comparing d plus and d minus, this d is greater than the d in tables, then the data set is not uniform. This uh, d value uh, needs to be lesser than the d in tables in order to be uh, a uniform distribution so uh, we're going to see this example we uh, are, are choosing a 0.9 confident level so alpha is 0.1 we have uh, 10 uh, pseudo random numbers first of all we sort them from the smallest to the biggest, beginning with, with 0.03 and ending with 0.98, that is the biggest value. In this table, we can see uh, all the operations. First, the first row is I, that is just a counter from 1 to 10, that are, are the number of uh, data that we have. We had 10 numbers. Then there's another row in this uh, table where we divide i by n, that the, the, in this case n is 10. So 1 divided uh, by 10 is 0.1, 2 divided by 10 is 0.2, and we can uh, keep doing this operation until uh, the last value of 10 divided by 10, that is equals one. In the next row, we put the uh, random sorted numbers uh, from the smallest to the biggest, 0.03, to the biggest, 0.98. The next row is i, the counter, minus 1, 
divided by n that it's 10. And we do the calculations. The last two rows are uh, the results from the formula to the values of uh, the plus and the minus. From each row in yellow, uh, I selected the biggest value of each row. For D plus, the biggest value is 20, 0.24. And from D minus, the biggest value is 0.19. So we compare 0.24 to 0.19 to see uh, which of them are, is uh, the biggest. The biggest is 0.24. If we compare again this 0.24 with the critic value established on the tables of the kolmogorov smirnov distribution, we can find that for an alpha or of 0.1 and 10 data, we, we have a 0.368 value for kolmogorov smirnov So comparing 0.24 with 0.36 and 8, 0.24 is less than 0.3368. So, as, is, as it is lesser than the critical value, the set of data is a uniform distribution. So, we are going to stop uh, this video here, uh, having a uh, having revised the uh, three uh, tests consisting of the average test, the variance test, and the uniform test.